Good morning. Time for book club, but it's application day. So we're still going to have a prayer, though. My turn for that, right, Jessica? Yep. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this new day. We're thankful that it's Friday and that we have come to the end of another week. And we pray that it was acceptable in thy eyes. And we're thankful for the good things you're able to do and pray that we can improve the things that we need to. And we're thankful for the Christmas season and that it is next Friday and that we get to prepare and serve and give and we pray that we can be open to those who need our help and that we can reach out in love and that we can um, also be able to continue with our business and um, reach out to those who really need this stuff right like right now and we are thankful for our many blessings and we pray for these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Application. I'm still learning how to do application. I'm thinking maybe I should come with questions that we can discuss. I mean, we have no problem just talking, but. Right. Questions too. So I've been thinking about how, I mean, we talked about how we can apply it with our kids last week. I was thinking maybe today we could talk more about how we can apply it with our business. Like, how can we get people interested in Plexus by listening to their interests? Well, I feel like that's kind of what we already do. You know, like we just sort of, we reach out, we say, hey, we build a relationship first, you know, even if it's just for a day or two to start up a conversation. And then we just start asking them questions, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, well, you know, I'm doing this thing. Would you be interested in, in just kind of learning a little bit more? And then when they're, when they say, yeah, sure, you know, mm -hmm. then then we start in with the whole like, so what health problems do you have? What health goals do you have? What, you know, it's just all about what do you need? What do you want? What are you looking for? Like that sort of thing. And, and we say, yeah, we can help you with that. <laughs> so I think like maybe the gap in there, it, I don't, I mean, I don't know if there's really much more you can do to so I'm thinking that initial ask, right? It's like, hey, I'm doing this thing. Would you be interested in learning about it? You know? Yeah. I don't know. That's yeah. you're somewhere in there. There's room. I mean, I guess you could approach it more with, huh? I was just going to say there's certain people who, like, I do that with, who I, I say something like that. And then there's certain people who it just comes up naturally. Like, well, yeah. Talking. And so I just think it depends on the person, you know? Yeah. If they're like not open to talking and you can tell, but you think they might watch the video. Right. Then you can like focus on their interests after they watch the video. <laughs> right. I was just thinking too, maybe with that initial ask, instead of it saying, hey, I'm doing this thing. Would you like to learn more? Saying something more along the lines of I totally thought of you I want you to have you know x y and z mm -hmm. you know yeah. that sort of so thing I need that you think they have well like everybody wants better sleep right I mean yeah. who doesn't want better sleep you can totally go that route mm -hmm. I mean like or less stress, you know, the more, more mental health balance. That's something most people, you know, you can just pick one of those generals and just be like, Hey, you know, I was just sitting here thinking about my friends and mm -hmm. your name popped into my head. And I just really wanted to be able to give you this gift of life. Yay. Yeah. You know, everyone likes so gifts. Then, everybody likes <laughs> gifts, right? 
So something along those lines. Maybe. Yeah. Exactly. And just asking them permission to send stuff, which is what we train. And yeah. That's super important, you know, because then it's like honoring what their answer They is. want. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Always asking lots and lots of questions. So I did that like yesterday. I wanted to do, I talked to you about doing a spotlight of my favorite because it's on the bingo. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, well, but my favorite, you, you were like, well, you want to think about what your people want, right? And I was like, well, my favorite probably isn't what most people <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry I love yeah. everything like I love everything I do but my yeah. favorite is the active it just is and so it's kind of like okay well I could highlight my favorite but that might not really interest a whole lot of people so I just got on I don't know if you saw my live or not but I need to watch it I got on and I just I literally was just like so I thought for a really long time before I got on and I was like, cause you had said, you know, think about what your people want. And I was just like, I just got on and talked about Christmas and how great it is and how much I love it and how much I love giving and serving and, or like how much I like that aspect of, of Christmas. Yeah. And how everybody just starts really thinking about other people and then <laughs> talking to people about giving themselves the gift of, of better health mm. and then just sort of went through that it felt so like I don't know if anybody's gonna identify with it I don't know if it's really if anything's really gonna come from it but it felt very good like I felt happy I felt energetic I felt connected I felt you know like genuine and so it's like well I mean that's what we do right and if it works it works and if it doesn't we try again tomorrow or try again later yeah exactly I yeah. love that and if you felt the spirit while you did it you felt happy you felt all those good things then it's gonna touch somebody you know yes it's just I know it will touch people I'm just whether they respond or not <laughs> yeah that's true they might respond to your from now <laughs> right exactly or four years from now <laughs> <laughs> exactly you never know you never know that part. <laughs> but you I know it's funny go ahead do I go ahead I was just gonna say um on on nights where you know sometimes I beat myself up for like going for a goal and like messaging a whole bunch of people so I'm right like, oh, I shouldn't have done that I should have reached out <laughs> first <laughs> but honestly, I've had a lot of people who have been interested and I just, and they say, you know, like, oh, I've been meaning to reach out to you, but they probably would have never done it unless I reached out to them first. Right. And so sometimes, like, sometimes I push into those where I'm just like, I'm just going to message a hundred people. Like, and I do it with love and, you know, it doesn't hurt. Sometimes yeah. I go back and I'm like, I try to like repair it later <laughs> like I hope this didn't bug you I just love this stuff and you know how are you right doing? and so I just try to repair it but but I've that's how I got Shannon Gonzalez and now you know she's almost a uh, ruby and mm -hmm. she has had so many life changes and health changes and her family has health changes you know what I mean like yeah so there's just not one exact right way to do it you know obviously relationship building is so important but sometimes the reach outs work. So well, yeah. Complexes reach outs work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just like doing what you feels right in the moment. Is like, well, I mean, if you really want to think about it, like, you know, you do these reach outs, but you're reaching out to people who have probably seen your Facebook posts, who have probably seen, you know, your your story and that sort of thing. And so it's not like there's zero relationship building. We're constantly relationship building with people. Mm -hmm. 
we don't know what relationships are out there already from the things that we've already been doing. And so when you send those messages, if you're doing that, you know, like if you're doing it with the attitude and yeah, I've done this already yeah. in a couple of months. If you're doing it with the attitude of, I just need to get people, yeah, you know, then it's not as fun and it's not as rewarding. It's mm-hmm. like for yourself, you know, emotionally, yeah, you may get people and that's great, mm-hmm. but it's like, you can send, you can find a way to send mass messages and still be in that mindset of, I want to help people. I want to love people. I want to reach out to people. Mm-hmm. And when you do it that way, then it's more fulfilling for you. Even if you have the same amount of people both yeah. ways, you know, get back to you and be like, Hey, yeah, you know, let's do this. And then you, you know, you start in a better place. Mm-hmm. And so you finish in a better place. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> but of course, it's more effective and builds better trust if you start by asking them what they oh. love. What yeah. They need. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. I, I like um, this reminds me of a reach out I did. I just like reach out to a new friend and someone I didn't know, actually, a stranger. It was a friend of a friend and I just started talking to her and we just gently like naturally were talking and I I think I did I share that message I don't remember I'll have to go find it it was a while ago but like we're just it was just natural and then um Plexus just came up like naturally and and then she was like oh my gosh I just I see what you just did that was amazing like I still thrive and I never seen someone do it like that I was like what and she's like you just like naturally brought it up that was so cool <laughs> like she's another MLM or you know what I mean and right, so, right 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 she's like, you're like you act like you really care about me I'm like I do like you know and it was just like it was funny conversation because she was just, I do really care about you yeah <laughs> and, and I course, just happen to sell plexus <laughs> yeah exactly I'm just like I'm here to help people that's what I do you know and right. it's just funny because sometimes I do it totally wrong and it doesn't go well and I sound totally selfish, but sometimes right. it's really good. And, and then, okay, I'm up totally there. curious about how you start natural, easy conversations with people <laughs> you don't know. Okay. Let me find one. I will say though, like now she's just ignoring me. So, I mean, you know, whatever. Ah, oh, boo. But it's like just funny because and I'll go I'll go you know respond to her again eventually but she's one of those people who it's just like no now she feels like she's being sold to so I guess but she sells something that's competing so it's probably like man okay gotcha yeah yeah okay wait I'll show you I remember someone's name that I just recently reached out to so this girl Paula, she's something. She's a stranger. I just said, um, oh, she commented on one of my birthday feeds. So, but she was a stranger. So I used that as a springboard. Right. I just said, hey Paula, just wanted to thank you so much for your sweet comment on my vulnerable, not my birthday post, but vulnerable post. Uh, it makes me so happy to know that I have friends out there who are positive and encouraging. How long have you lived in Chico? So that's, she lives in my old hometown. Right. Like yeah, people. that's easy. When people like view my videos or, or post on something, that totally makes a bridge. But like, I have all these friends, mm-hmm. you know, that I'm adding to my Facebook, but we can, we can talk about it later. Really? <laughs> no, we are out of time. I'll say really quick though, that I usually say, um, I'll usually say something like, hey, I'm so glad you know, we got connected or thanks for accepting my friend request or, you know, sometimes I'll wait and I won't say that. I'll just say like, I have no idea how we got connected, but like, we have so many friends, you know, in common, like, right. you know, did we go to the same high school? That kind of thing. Just like asking questions because literally I don't know. And so, right. I mean, I know I added them as a friend, but I don't it just know feels connected weird awkward it is usually yeah like, it is usually like, awkward. 
Please don't think they, I'm some weirdo on Facebook stalking you. <laughs> Honestly, they do. They probably do. And I don't care anymore. I'm just like, yeah, I just embrace the awkwardness. What are they going to do? I mean, ignore me. or Not talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the worst that can you know. happen. Unfriend <laughs> you. <gasps> yeah, I've had that happen. So Once I've had all those things happen, people get mad. People unfriend me. Have people block me. You know, okay. I know my, I know my, um, instincts are not instincts. My, what's the word? Intentions. Yeah. I know my intentions are pure. So it doesn't bother Can't me. Can't control no. that, right? Can't it control them. So much so. It used to bother me because I used to be very scared of what people thought of me. I would create all kinds of Can stuff I in my head. Can I share a quick story? Yeah. Okay, so my son Ethan is having all these health issues, and we had to go do a scan of his py- parathyroids yesterday. Mm-hmm. And he was not, not excited about it whatsoever, but he was really sweet and cooperative for the first round. But after he got done with the first scan, it, it, he was very upset. He, we had to do two, like one in the morning and one in the afternoon for comparison. Mm-hmm. He had to lay still for the first skin. He had to lay still for almost 40 minutes. Oh, wow. Just lay still. Boys are not designed to lay still. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so when it came time, we like came home so we could relax because it was like a three hour gap in between. And when it came time to go back, he was like, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to go do that. I don't want to do it. And my first instinct was, I have paid $234 for this scan. Yeah. <laughs> we do not have the pictures we need, you know, like in my brain. And of course I went, oh, what does <laughs> he want? You know? And so yeah. I sat down with him. I told him to call, like I helped him calm down. And I was like, do you want to continue to feel sick? Do you want to continue to hurt and be you know, fatigued and all of these things that are going on. No, (laughs) you know, and I was like, well, we have to go, you know, and we just went through, we talked probably for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know, I bet he'd feel better with dad. And so like, I called my husband and like, after all of those things, Mm -hmm. it was like, he got his shoes on, he got in the car and we went and got the scan done. And I was like, I felt better because I wasn't fighting with him. I wasn't trying to force him. He wasn't happy about the scan, mm-hmm. but we're teaching him that he can do things he doesn't like. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And it turned out to be a really great blessing too, because the lady who does the scans picked up on a lot of things from the first time and made him so much more comfortable oh, good. and so I was so grateful as another example of someone else thinking about someone else's needs mm. and having it turn out really like I'm super grateful I will go there mm-hmm. <clears throat> for my scans you know because I like I know that people pay attention to their patients they're not just interested <clears throat> in getting a good picture you know and so I was just like, check that out. <laughs> <laughs> love it. That's so good. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, Jessica. I love the yeah. application stories. That's what it teaches us. All right, y'all. We went a little over, but we just love talking and I love all the examples. So it's okay. And we want to hear what you guys do. Yeah, we want to hear. Come on, y'all share with us. Even Tell if it's us. something that you're struggling with you're applying it too and we can talk about it all right thanks for joining happy friday